Death is swallowed up in victory. In all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Lord, may the love and support of our family and friends give us strength today. Grief is the last act of love that we can give to those we love. Where there is deep grief, there is great love. Your memories are a treasure chest I keep in my heart, Mike, but it doesn't answer the question that only God knows why did you have to depart. I miss you terribly, bro, leaving a scar that won't heal, but it's all in God's will. Lord, comfort us on how we feel. When he shall die, take him and cut him out in little stars, and he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with the night and pay no worship to the garnish sun. William Shakespeare Mike, the pain of losing you is immeasurable. I know the biggest star in the sky is shining the most is you. I hope and pray you are happy and are at peace. It's only the body that died. Your soul will forever live on in the heavens. We love you and miss you. Although it's difficult today to see beyond the sorrow, it may looking back in memory help comfort us today and tomorrow. It's not always the tears that measure the pain. Sometimes it's the smile we fake. A year has gone by, and I still miss you more than I can possibly even put into words and say. I will forever remember the times we shared, what we once enjoyed deeply loved, we can never lose, for all that we love deeply becomes a part of us. Helen Keller. One year, two years, or even eternity won't see your memory fade. I'm using this one-year anniversary of your passing to remember what a truly wonderful person you were, remembering the good times. Goodbyes hurt when the story is not finished and the book has been forever closed. Fly high till we meet again, my brother. Thank you for being my friend. This isn't the end. Even other, you know, even over death, God still wins. Rest in peace, Mike. I couldn't even realize how one year has passed since I lost you. It seems like it's just been a few days ago. Your death has reminded us that in this world nothing is permanent. We all have to go when God wishes. Just stay peacefully in heaven and don't worry about us, Mike. We're all going to see you again someday soon. Father God, I ask you to be with my friend Nicole, Owen, and Nicholas, Mr. Parquet, and Stanley today. I love each and every one of them and pray you comfort them in their mourning. I know the first year of losing somebody, the anniversary, is not easy. So I ask you, Father, to give them peace, comfort them, and also comfort all his friends that are missing him today. The only reason why I've gotten through the year and gotten through two more deaths after Mike is because of the Lord. Because I know I'm going to see them again someday. And as it says here, death is swallowed up in victory.